And I, I, I looked at him as he said that, I said, Palestine. And, and he looked at me like, fuck you. And, and, and we were doing this sort of Israel-Palestine thing, and eventually he said, fuck you. And I said, fuck you. Right, right there, fuck off. And he took his water bottle and he fucking swung it at me and hit me on the head. It was stupid. It didn't do anything to me. And I just said, fuck off. And we got in this exchange and they literally had to uh, pull this guy away because it was going to be a bit of a problem. And, and so they eventually took us to a prison, which, by the way, they had constructed specifically for this purpose. They had literally made a brand new prison for us, knowing that we were coming. We went to the prison. And we were there for a couple of days, and the treatment there was basically fine. Uh, but other people were abused more in that period as well. But we were there for a couple of days, and me being who I am, uh, you know, I, I, I really wasn't uh, content to just leave. You know, they wanted to deport us. At that point, it was becoming a little bit of a public relations problem, and they really did not want to have hundreds and hundreds of international activists from around the world uh, in Israel who never asked to come there. While they still have enormous power and control of the mainstream media and whatnot and were doing their best to control the dialogue, it was a public relations problem. So they wanted to get rid of us as quickly as possible, and I knew that. And, uh, and ultimately, you know, there was a, a short dialogue amongst the, the leadership, uh, the Turkish leadership and whatnot, as to what to do, but they basically all wanted to get home, so they decided to go home. But I, I said to the Turkish leader, basically, listen, you know, I don't want to go home. I, I want to fucking be here in the system and get it all on record. Not that I expect any justice, but, you know, really, these motherfuckers kidnapped us and murdered people, and I want it on the fucking record. You don't get away with just doing that and deporting us. And I knew as well that it would be a problem if they had somebody in their custody. And there happened to be one other guy who, who also felt the same way, who was also Irish, funny enough. So there was two of us Irish. Um, well, despite the Yank accent, I really claimed the Irish side. And, uh, and so they started clearing out the prison, and all the Turks were like shaking our hands and you know apologizing for leaving and all this sort of stuff. And they all got taken out into buses. This took you know a few hours for this to happen. And eventually, it was just me and this one other Irish guy. And I remember looking at him and saying, well, this is going to get fun, isn't it? And, and there we sat. And eventually, they said, OK, we're moving you to another area. And they took us, and they moved us uh, to a bus. And as it turns out, they just ended up putting us on the last bus that was being transported to Ben Gurion Airport to deport us. 